Hi guys, what's going on? It's the Digital Tutor here with another step-by-step -step tutorial. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to download your Discord chat history from any sort of server. Um, if you find this helpful, then please leave a like and drop a comment below. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more step-by-step -step tutorials, how-tos and tips and tricks for everything tech and digital related. So what I'm going to be showing you today is actually a third party software that you'll need to download to do this. Um, and I'll also run through an example and show you exactly how to do this. So if you want to follow and copy this step by step, then make, make sure you watch and follow the steps all the way to the end of the video. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the first thing we're going to do is actually open up a new browser. And you want to come across to Google and then type into Google, Google search Discord chat exporter and what you want to do is actually click this result here where it says um, awesome open source.com discord chat exporter and then you're going to come across to a page which looks like this so what you're going to want to do from here is actually scroll down the page until you get to the bottom and you'll see there's a download section. So what you're going to want to do is just click on to the stable release, which is this one here. Uh, there's also one if you're on a Mac or Linux. But for Windows, you can just click this one at the top. Like so. And this is going to take you to GitHub, which is like a download center. And then what you're going to want to do is just come down and click on to uh, this one here. This called chat exporter or zip, which is 3.52 megabytes. And what that's going to do is start downloading the file. So what you're going to want to do once that's downloaded is right click onto the file and then click on to show in folder. And because this is a zip file, we're going to have to unzip it first. So you just want to right click. And then I use 7-zip, but if not, you should have WinZip or something along those lines. Make sure you've got a program that can extract it. And then all you want to do is extract files. And then you just want to choose where to extract it to. So I'm just going to extract it to my downloads and then click OK. And you'll see it only takes a second or two. It's only a small file um, and that's going to load up here. And then from here, once you've opened up the folder, you want to click onto the actual application. So this one with the little uh, picture. Uh, make sure type application. This is one you want to open. So double click to open that. And normally what happens, it just takes a minute or two to load through, uh, which is normal for most new programs that you install when you run them for the first time. Um, so what's going to happen, it's going to bring up some instructions. So what you now want to do is go across to Discord and open that up. Okay, so once you've got that opened, what you then want to do is just run through the steps that it gives to you. So we're just going to do this if you want to follow along. So the first thing you're going to want to do is show the developer tools. So we want to press Control and Shift and I. So make sure you click on Discord and then press Hold Control Shift and then press I. And you'll see it's going to bring up a window that looks like this. And we're going to go on to the next step, which is press Control and Shift and M to toggle the device toolbar. So again, control and shift and M for mic. Um, what we're then going to do is locate application, which I believe is the next step. Yep. So what we want to do is just come to the top up here where you've got like elements, console, sources. You might not see application shown by default. And if that's the case, all you need to do is click onto this arrow um, over here. And you'll see applications going to come up in this drop down menu. So you just want to go and give that a click you're going to get a window which looks like this. And then the next step is on the left, expand to local storage and select discord.com. So we're going to look for local storage, which is over here in the menu. And we're just going to click on the arrow next to it and then click on to discord.com. And it's going to bring up something which looks like this. So the next thing we're going to do is go to the filter box, which is up here at the top, like a search box. And in here, we want to type token. Like so. 
Now, if this is not showing straight away, all you need to do is hold control and press R to redo to Discord and you should get the token come up here. And then what you're gonna to want to do next is actually copy the token key. So this is this bunch of numbers and letters over here. So what you wanna do is just click onto that and then hold control and A. And then hit control C to copy. And then what we're gonna do is actually come back to the Discord chat exporter and in the top box where it says token, you want to hold control and press V to paste this in. So before you hit enter, what you want to do is just get rid of these uh, marks at the beginning of the end, these kind of speech exclamation marks. So we're just going to delete the ones at the end. Then we're going to go to the beginning and delete the ones at the front end as well. And then we're going to click onto this arrow here. So what's going to happen is this is going to load up all my servers that I've either been a part of or am now a part of. And what we can do is use any of these to download any information, any history from them. So as an example, I'm just going, get, going to go into this one, Wanderers Wanderers. This is an old server of mine. And what we're going to do is come and click on to uh, text channels up here. And then we're going to click on to general to download the chat history. And then just click on to this yellow button down here with the download symbol. So what's going to happen, you're going to get a box like this and it's going to ask you to uh, select a format. Now, from my experience, I believe HTML dark or HTML light are the best options. Obviously, you can use like text and stuff like that, but HTML light and dark uh, basically displays it how you would see it on Discord. So in this example, I'm going to leave that at HTML dark and then hit the export button down here. And so depending on the uh, size of the chat history, um, it can take anywhere from a couple of minutes to, it can take anywhere from a couple of seconds to sort of five to 10 minutes. It depends how big the history is. And then what you want to do is just select where to save this. So I'm just going to save this into my downloads and then click save. And you'll see that's busy and we'll get a little pop-up saying successfully exported one channel. So now what I'm going to do is actually come down to the search box and type downloads. Then we're just going to open up my downloads folder. And you'll see we've got the uh, document there. So today, and if I double click onto that, uh, it's going to ask me which app to use. And then I'm going to click onto OK. Because it's a .html, so it's um, it's uh, displayed on the internet. And you'll see what's going to happen. This is going to bring up all my chat history. Like so. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That's how you do it. So... I hope you found that helpful and if you did find that helpful please leave a like and drop a comment below don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you do want to help support the digital tutor channel there is a link in the video description down below if you go and give that a click you'll be able to buy the team here a cup of coffee thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one